Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm the SP Nation. Yes, in a different form. I'm an OG YouTuber that reviews luxury beauty all the time. Since you're already here, please feel free to hit that like button, definitely hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, turn on those notification bells just so that you're aware of all the content that I have coming out. If you followed me for quite some time, you'll know that occasionally I might come on here with a wig on. It's just one of those things. Sometimes, you know, ladies, you understand. You just have to put a wig on. So recently, makeup artist Mario Dedovanovic, he had announced that he was finally debuting his makeup brand. I was under the impression that this was actually launching only on Sephora.com. However, I did go to Sephora today and lo and behold, right when I walked in, smack dab right in the front of the store, there was a display for makeup by Mario. So I was very excited because Mario is one of those artists that I actually have followed for a number of years. He is someone that is very inspiring to me. I have a very small list of professional makeup artists that I admire and adore, and he is definitely one of them. So, you know, I didn't have the intentions of going to Sephora <laughs> to actually buy his makeup because originally I was just going there to look at some other things. And, you know, I had said to myself that because it was going to be on Sephora.com, you know, I didn't want to have to, you know, wait for the merchandise. I said, you know, I'll just wait till the VIB sale. You know, I can just get it later. There's really no rush for me to get it. However, it was right in my face, so I just kind of lost it, and I was just like, what the hell? Went ahead and blew a thousand of my Sephora points, since I'm Rouge anyway, and I never use my points. So went ahead and just blew a thousand of them because you can get 15% off. So that did help with this purchase, but I mean, I just bought Suku last night, so that's a whole nother conversation. We will talk about that. So in this video, I will go ahead and show you what I got and my first impressions overall. For starters, I did get the Master Pigment Pro Pencil in Super Black, and this is just, you know, it's an iPad pencil you know, nothing special. But it does, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it comes in two different colors. It comes in a black and it comes in a brown. This is something that I didn't necessarily need, but I just wanted one, just like have a fresh one, I don't know. And one thing that I do like about his brand is that the price point is very affordable. So everything is, and you know, for me, that's a good thing because I really do only buy Luxury Beauty nine times out of 10, but I do put him at a different standard and at a different level. I expect, you know, these products to be very great products, but you know, of course, he wanted to make them you know something that's affordable so I went ahead and you know that's kind of like why I made my decision to get this because I'm very cautious about buying celebrity owned or ran type of brands but you know he is a professional makeup artist and so that's the only reason why you know when I look at this I say you know it's going to be of great quality or that's what my assumption is but back to this pencil it's just a really nice creamy pencil I'll go ahead and show you this in the back of my hand and as you can see it just really just slides on and overall it just glides on the skin very easily Easily. I did use that in this particular look when I was just playing with the makeup just to get a feel for everything. I put it on the top of my lid in addition to my waterline. It glides on perfectly, no issues at all whatsoever. And just as a disclaimer, I've actually had this full face on for several hours. I haven't been walking around with a wig on around my house because my partner, he looks at me like I'm absolutely insane when I put on wigs. So he thinks I look like a serial killer or something. It just weirds him out. So, you know, and it's real hot because people think that I do drag or I've done drag. I've never done drag before. Like this is very uncomfortable for me to put on. I just like the way it looks. It makes me feel pretty. You know, I didn't walk around and have this wig on because I'd be sweating. Aside from the wig, I've had this entire makeup, you know, and eye look on, you know, for several hours. And I will say that this liner is definitely a very nice liner. I love the way it glides on. It's really easy. No issues whatsoever. This is very foolproof. And another great thing about this liner is that it's actually dual ended. So it actually has a brush on the other side. And what's great about that is that, you know, you can apply liner and you can, you know, smudge out with the brush. And here's the brush just so that you can see that. So you can actually use this to, you know, just smudge out liner, make more of a smoky look, whatever you want to go for, you can definitely use this little brush for it. It just, his products from what I'm seeing, it just makes things so much easier, especially for someone who is not, you know, a makeup artist or someone who, you know, has trouble with eye makeup, anything like that. It just makes things so much easier. And even if you are someone who is great with eye makeup, it just makes your life even easier. So I really like this this liner and this brush duo overall. And of course, in this initial release amongst the 16 SKUs that launched, he did also release five makeup brushes. And so I just went ahead and just bought all of them. So the first brush I got is the EF1, and this is a dual ended brush. And what I really like about this brush is actually quickly going to become one of my favorite brushes to use, especially with his uh, primer set, his eye primer set, you know, it's dual ended. So of course this side, you know, you can use to, you know, actually apply the primer to the lid. 
it just you know provides you with even distribution and then of course the fluffy side here this is great to okay a little powder just flew in my face and the fluffier side is great for just diffusing color or if you you know are using the prime set and that prime set comes with two different shades of you know actual primer that you put on your lids then it has a powder to actually set it so you would of course use this side to apply the cream and then you would actually use the fluffier side to actually put the powder on top to actually lock in that particular primer and I like this because as I was doing this look when initially when I actually primed my lids I did that exact process you know per his recommendation and it just made for just an easy simple process and just easy eye application also if I made any mistakes I also again took his advice that you know or not really a mistake but more so if I felt like a line was just too harsh in my crease area or what have you I could just you know dab it into the primer into the powder and just a, or actually use just any powder you can use a translucent powder and that's something that I do you know when I do eye makeup but you can just use the fluffier side and just diffuse the color just a little bit to you know just make it more seamless so if you're someone who has issues with you know harsh lines if you have you know just blending issues in general this is a great brush to use and I like you know again that it is dual ended because it gives you more than one purpose so this is a really nice brush and I'm probably going to use this on a regular basis especially when I'm doing an eye look the next brush is the EF2 and this is just one of your you know typical fluffy brushes and it has a nice shape to it and this is the type of brush that you would use you know of course for blending so if you wanted to hit the crease you could easily use this for a brow bone highlight you could use this for other areas of the face if you're you know setting your makeup with powder around you know just any of your problem areas that you want to lock into place you could definitely use it for that there's so many uses for this type of brush and of course I have many versions of this type of brush in my collection however again I just just wanted to purchase you know just all of these brushes and you know from using this in this particular look this brush it made the eyeshadow process and application just very very easy the next brush is the E3 brush and this is again one of the brushes that I used in this particular look it was really easy this is the type of brush that you know you would use to actually just lay down products so you know on my actual lid one thing that I did was I kind of did a cut crease just a little bit not really a cut crease exactly and this is just great for blending it's also great for laying down product and just doing a wash of you know your shadow it's also great to use when you're actually wanting to smoke out the eye so that's what this brushes for. Now if you're wanting to actually pack color onto the lid directly onto the lid you would want to use the E4 brush. So for instance in the eye look I created where I had started off doing a cut crease but ultimately I decided to you know actually make it not look like one anymore just because that's not what I was going for. I could have packed on the shadow with the E4 brush as well because again a lot of brushes though they are designed for something in particular that does not mean that you can't use it for something else because of course there's really no rules in makeup except for you know a few things that I think are you know rules or things that make you know actual sense but you know when it comes to using brushes there's so many ways to apply eyeshadow I mean you could use fingers if you really wanted to don't recommend it though but I mean if you're packing on color you don't need a brush for that that's something you could easily you know of course use your finger for that but that's really what this brush is for the last brush is the e5 brush and of course this would be something that you know if you want to you know apply liner to your lash line if you want to smoke out anything under your eye area or just smoke out any part of the eye area really this is great to use for that particular you know look and because of its shape you know of course you can get really precise with actually applying the product so you can apply you know shadow to your upper lid your lower lid your lash line to you know just get the desired effect so that's what this brush is for but again you know all the brushes like I said I really do like the brushes the only thing that I don't like about them is that they're white I prefer black brushes just because I am black so you know when I'm actually using products I tend to get makeup everywhere and so with black you know it it just doesn't look as bad you know when you're actually um, you know trying to get off product but when you have a white type of packaging sometimes it will stain you know the actual item so you know hopefully that doesn't happen but you know again these brushes I do like the way these brushes feel they have you know they're pretty light they feel really good in the hand they feel very firm I do like the way these look again but I just don't like the coloring but you know that's just the only thing that I really have to say about these but as far as using these for you know 
this particular look. It was very easy to work with. They blend beautifully. You know, they do the job that they're supposed to do. So again, the brushes, they're all 22 a piece. So you really can't beat it, like I said. So if you're someone who just wants to get these particular brushes, or if you're someone who is just new to doing, you know, eye makeup, or if you just want to, you know, get into the eye makeup game and you don't know where to start with brushes, you literally would just have to have five brushes to do it. And he makes it so simple. So you don't have to go to a Sigma or just a brand that has, you know, a brush roll with like 20 brushes. You don't need all that. And, you know, I'm a firm believer of that as well, just because I really don't use a ton of brushes. If you ever notice in my videos when I'm doing foundation and things like that, I use the same exact brushes over and over, even though I have probably well over 100 brushes easily easily over in her brushes but you know I have favorites that I you know that work for me perfectly and you know I don't have to you know unless the brush is super dirty I don't really have to use anything else or if I'm in a different mood or something I mean <laughs> that's the only reason why I would change a brush but overall I use the exact same brushes because you really only need a handful of brushes you don't need a thousand brushes to get a desired look the next product I got was the master eye prep and set and I can tell you just from using this one time with one eyeshadow look this is easily going to be something that I would buy again just because it <laughs> It just makes everything so much easier. Like, I absolutely love this product. It's $28 and, you know, it comes in three different types of shades. So there's, I believe, light, medium, or dark, or it's fair, medium, dark, something like that. But of course, I chose the dark option. So of course, there's a mirror on the inside, but here's the actual product. And here are the shades that come in this deep set. I think this is just very well done just because there's one shade that's slightly deeper than the other and the undertone is slightly different. This one over here is the lighter of the two. I actually did use the lighter of the two and of course at the top is the actual setting powder to lock in this product. And what I really like about this product is again it just makes everything so much easier. So you know I can take this EF1 brush and you know just take the side that's flatter and you know just dip into the cream, apply it to my lid very easily and then just dab on a little bit of that powder onto the lid and it just locks everything into place. This is just just <laughs> I this is this is like a total win and it makes the colors pop everything looks true to the way it looks in the actual palettes I think this is just a great product and this is something that I would definitely recommend you check out if there's something that you know you want to get and there's just one type of color type of item that you want to purchase this is definitely something to consider just because it makes eyeshadow so foolproof I'm finding that everything was designed to make it foolproof <laughs> so you just can't mess it up like there's no way to mess up I really like this primer just because you know the lighter shade I found that when I put that on it just kind of makes my lid area look a bit illuminated but it doesn't actually make it look ashy so I could actually go you know without actually having on eye makeup and it would just make me look more revived and then the darker side even though it's really not dark to me just because it almost matches my skin tone perfectly again I could use that side if I didn't want to have you know more of an illuminated type of look that product is definitely something you would want to check out the next product is the master mattes eyeshadow palette and I you know this is of course the palette that I have on my lids today and you know this comes with 12 different shades only $48 I am definitely in love with this palette and you know the design as far as the idea behind it is that the actual shades that are in here are designed to be like skin tone type of shades definitely say that when I look at this that's exactly what I see because if I were to look at these I could definitely find my actual skin tone and I would say this one right here is my actual skin tone and you know again it's very small it's designed you know obviously it's something that he designed I mean I have big hands but still I mean if you look at this it's very small it's something that you could pop in your purse you could travel with it very easily this is actually what you know I would think that this is you know the idea behind it instead of having some big scary 
very type of palette, like, you know, a mothership palette, for instance. So again, it's something where he's thinking about the actual consumer and, you know, just making it easier for you or for the artist who just is, who's traveling and needs to save space. That's what the idea behind this obviously is. I haven't even like looked up, you know, what was his idea behind the size and all of that. But to me, it's more so just, you know, it's very obvious, or at least that's what I think. This shadow palette, it's great because it's all matte. I don't think you can actually get these wet. I think that's one thing that he did note that, you know, that's not something that's designed to get wet, which actually apply the shadows wet. But you know, it's a true matte palette. This is the palette that I used to create this look. And I will tell you, full transparency, I don't know what happened. When I got home, I just immediately wanted to put this on. I just fell in love with it when I saw it in person. I'd already fallen in love with it when I saw swatches online. But once I saw it in person and what I saw online matched what I saw in person, I just wanted to immediately use this palette because again, I love makeup that looks like skin. I like very natural looking makeup. This particular look is just something I was totally playing and just trying to see what would happen. And these shadows, oh my gosh, guys, they're very smooth, great pigmentation. They blend like a dream. You will definitely see a tutorial of me using this particular palette. This type of look that I did, I like I said, I was literally, I literally just sat down and I just started playing. I turned on my Simple Human Mirror and I just started playing. Then all of a sudden my Moxie Lashes that I hadn't even opened yet from when I bought for my birthday, I decided to slap these on. I think these are the Baddie Lashes or the Money Lashes. I don't know. I will leave um, it, all the information down below with everything that's on my face right now. I'm actually wearing uh, the Westman Atelier stuff that, you know, I received uh, from the brand for PR. I just felt very inspired with this. So again, you will see a detailed review of this palette. And last but not least, I did also get the Master Metallics palette. So of course, again, this is another $48 palette. You get 12 shades, same sizing, same type of idea, but the shades, y'all, the shades. Oh my God. These are creamy eyeshadows. They go on the skin like butter. They, you know, just literally like, like the description on Sephora when I was reading about it, it stated it just melts onto the lids. Yes, that's what happens. This is beautiful. So again, these are just gorgeous, creamy shades, and this was inspired by Mario's love of nature per the Sephora website. These are just, I love the color combinations in here. I can see so many different looks in here. I could see taking this and taking the uh, matte palette and just creating so many types of looks. This is an absolutely beautiful palette. I think overall, if you were to choose one palette, kind of want to say you would choose this one just because you can do so much with it. But again, for the everyday woman or man who likes likes to wear, you know, just neutrals. Of course, this palette, the matte palette, it's a no-brainer. Again, they both do what they should do. They make it so easy. Like I said, the brushes here, it's like everything was designed to work together. So the brushes and the matte shadows that I used, just applying it, it was like using Pat McGrath eyeshadows. And that was my experience personally, where I feel like when I put it on, it kind of just does everything for you. It's like you put it on and you just kind of brush a little bit and it's already blended. It's very little work that you have to do at all to achieve a look. So so, you know, again, I like both of these. I like the metallics one a lot just because it's very creamy and I just love the way it feels. I really like this palette a lot. And so overall, as far as first impressions are concerned, I'm very impressed with this collection. I'm very excited to probably acquire other things in the collection that I would like to get. I know there's that other metallics palette, it's just I think five or six shades and that one's $48. And there's also the mixing medium as well that you can get with, um, not with it, but it goes kind of with it, so to speak. So, you know, getting the mixing medium and just pairing it with those shadows, I think that would be really fun. So that's probably something that I would get later. I might wait for the VIB sale for that. But, you know, I really wanted to get the palettes and the brushes. That was my main goal with this particular collection, just because I have admired Mario's work for many years. So to know that he was coming out with a brand and, you know, one of my regrets was that uh, when he partnered with ABH and there was that palette, 
palette that he made and how everyone said it was just so amazing. I wasn't into ABH at the time, so I've never seen the palette. I've never been able to use it. I mean, I've seen it, but I've never been able to actually use it. And I've seen it on eBay, but I think that those are actual fakes from what I've seen. Just like looking at them and just looking at the descriptions, I think those are actually fake palettes. So I ain't got time for that. But you know, again, I've admired Mario's work for quite some time. So I wasn't surprised that he was launching a brand and I'm not surprised at what I've seen so far. Again, these are just my first impressions. But of course, like I said, you will see videos of me using both of these palettes probably more than once. You will see more eyeshadow looks. I'm really excited for that. I'm definitely excited to use these Moxie lashes because I have some other ones as well. I think these are very cute. And um, again, hope you're not too alarmed by the look. Uh, <laughs> I did this back in YouTube when no one was doing it. There was no one that was doing this. So this isn't really weird for me to do it. It's just something new to my new viewers. Definitely let me know what you think. Are you planning to get any of the Mario products? I Take advantage of it today just because I have a lot of points because I don't use my points for anything because I'm not a samples person so I don't really care about that but you know they did say that you know they have something right now where if you use you can spend or use a thousand points to get 15% uh, off so that's what I chose to do and I think you can get 10% off if you use 500 points 750 points and like I said as well we have Suku on the way I've got Dior videos coming I have all this other stuff my main problem is is that I buy makeup so much that whatever I buy at that moment I like it and then I make a video on it and then sometimes I can forget something that I should have did like weeks ago so I mean we have Natasha Denona's bronze palette I haven't talked about so I mean there's so much stuff y'all I mean there's Mothership 8 I haven't talked about definitely rate comment subscribe and I'll be back with a whole lot more guys bye Ooh, child, I didn't get this off Ooh.